Picking up the count in 10 seconds. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Right, law of sequencer now controlling over a thousand different parameters will be monitored and verified in the next nine minutes. The handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers will occur at T minus 31 seconds, and at that point, that handoff will not occur if there is anything that is not go for launch. The orbiter access arm will be retracted in about 20 seconds. Wishing the crew well. Team has six minutes, 28 seconds. T-minus six minutes and counting. In about 30 seconds, we'll be terminating the liquid oxygen replenishment. T minus five minutes, five seconds. We'll be 
starting the orbiter aerosurface profile test in just a moment. T-minus 3 minutes 30 seconds, checking main engine steering. Verifying that the main engines now are in the start position. Pressurizing the liquid oxygen tank. We'll now be retracting the gaseous oxygen vent arm. T-minus two minutes and count it. Arming the sound suppression water system. oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves. Standing by for the handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers. T minus 31 seconds and the handoff has occurred. Chain is armed, the suppression water system is armed. Go for me to start. Eight, seven, six, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Three engines now throttling down as Endeavor uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. 
approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavour's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavour's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weighed four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute, three second point, those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Three good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems. Endeavour can reach uh, a TAL site in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three are in good shape. Space Shuttle Endeavour sailing into fair winds on its final historic voyage. This view looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter there on the top, as Endeavour continues to power its way into orbit, traveling 4,000 miles per hour downrange, 90 miles, altitude 50 miles, 3 minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. All three main engines still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape, hydraulic systems and electrical systems on board the orbiter. Endeavour, negative return. Roger, negative return. Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure now, but all three are still in good shape as are all of the other systems aboard the orbiter. Uh, quiet here in Mission Control as a team of flight controllers watches, watches over all of the systems. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's traveling 5,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 63 miles, traveling downrange 186 miles, or about 335,000 feet in altitude. Environmental and Control Systems Officer here reporting a good flash evaporator system providing uh, cooling to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them is Flight Engineer Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink. Press to ATO. Press to ATO. Endeavour can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavour, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatoff. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making their first voyage on the space shuttle after uh, flying to the International Space Station aboard uh, Soyuz spacecraft previously. Endeavour, single engine, Ops 3. Roger, single engine, Ops 3. Now that call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transatlantic abort site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, 
And Davo, Beth D'Amico and single engine Zaragoza, 104. Several calls there. Endeavor can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll Endeavor to a heads-up position to optimize the air-to-ground communications through the satellite network. Flight controller is reporting to Flight Director Richard Jones. They're in good shape. Shutdown plan is nominal. orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three are still in good shape. The three main engines are uh, flowing fuel through their uh, power systems at a rate uh, equivalent to draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, altitude 64 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 630 miles. Endeavor is traveling 13,500 miles per hour. We're now seeing uh, throttling on the three main engines to maintain the uh, 3G or three times gravity load on the vehicle and the crew. Engines at uh, 82% of rated thrust, eight minutes into the flight, the next uh, Activity is a main engine cutoff. That's expected to be commanded at 21 seconds. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. And separation from the external tank. Endeavor's Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the orbiter for uh, photography of the external tank. We did see a nominal Miko. Holmes 1 is not 